then the earth tremendously trembled. That the sea sloshed over the shores. So sank on a terrible day and a terrible night. All the glorious people of Atlantis drowned beneath the earth. And the floods, their islands sank. cradle of Western culture is also the land of origin of the history of Atlantis. Priests told the stories to the Greek statesman Solon, who studied the land of the Nile very closely in the 6th century BC. And the philosopher Plato handed down the report to posterity. Atlantis' earthly paradise and cosmic catastrophe that interests humanity today. In the land of the pharaohs, where over thousands of years, history takes place according to honorable laws. Stories like that of Atlantis had to awaken fear of destruction and reverence for knowledge and architecture. first catastrophe's message in world history. For two and a half millennia, Atlantis, ancient dream of humanity or lost reality? Buried under stones, sunk to the bottom of the sea. We want to explore where our planet Atlantis have lain. The dispute about the truth is as old as the legend. The temple of Hapjad Sut. The queen sent expeditions to distant lands. But Atlantis is never mentioned. 10% of all hieroglyphics are translated. Not a single word about Atlantis. The Nile, river of life and death. He leads us into a ghostly underworld of the pharaohs. In the tomb of the famous pharaoh Tutankhamun, we find an inscription. After that, Ray, the lord of the gods, held a terrible punishment because mankind was morally corrupt. He considered a great flood to be appropriate. Undoubtedly a parallel, but no direct reference to Atlantis. Translated from Egyptian language, Atlantis means island without a name. According to the ideas of the Egyptian, the deceased lived in their graves quite pleasantly. As mummies, their bodies should be safe from decay. In their timeless existence, they ate and drank and watched, or rested and told stories. We don't know whether the inhabitants of the rocky burial ground talked about Atlantis during their lifetime. Any surviving tradition is silent about that. For righteousness, and peculiarity and whatever else is so precious to souls. These images have no splendor, but with weary tools, only a few of them can recognize those images approaching the depicted gender.
the Heidelberg Egyptologist, Professor Jan Asman said, there are two different forms of heritage. A written world that begins largely in the string time, knocked down in the temples and the inner grave walls, and the sacred books collected in the archive that the priests show to Salon. On the other hand, there was the world of folklore, the popular legends that have attached themselves to monuments. Our search begins in Egypt, between the millennia-old temple of the Pharaoh. At the pyramids, stories were told, such as the Pharaoh, Mykonos, when a psychic prophesies his death day, he was awake night and day to double his lifetime. Is Atlantis also a legend which is connected to a monument? And if so, to which? Always new riddles are opening up. We are following in the footsteps of Salon, to whom the high priest of the Pharaoh told in details about Atlantis. Underdeveloped was the architecture of the Egyptians compared to the fantastic buildings of Atlantis. But what did the ancient Egyptians really know about this lost kingdom? Ancient tales say many and manly exterminations of people have taken place and will take place. The most important being by fire and water others, by fewer, by a thousand other coincidences. That which is told, that once Bathion, the son of Helios, who ascended his father's carriage, the surface of the earth, because he was unable to obey the path of his father, destroyed by fire, but himself struck down by the lightning, found his death. This is reported to be a fairy tale, but the true part of it is based on the deviation of the stars circling the earth and the sky and the destruction of the earthly beings, which takes place after long periods by means of mighty fire. Then those who live in the mountains, in the high and arid regions, rather than those who dwell in the rivers and the sea, tend to perish. The people of Atlantis were virtuous, did not care much about earthly goods, and gold was a burden to them. Does Plato describe utopia? Later it says, they were no longer up to their wealth. Envy and greed came over them. The Supreme of the Gods punished them. Is this a warning? Is it referring to the catastrophe near Greece? 